Hey guys, Gary here from Lost in the Ozarks and today we're at the Compton Trailhead and we're going to see if we can find the Antenna Pine Bluff. So we're just starting our, let's see here. All right, so we're just starting a hike here and we're gonna show you some sights and sounds of the trail as we head out here to find this spot. We're not sure exactly where it is. I've got some GPS coordinates, but we're not sure if those are right. So, so come along with us as we make this hike. Now we're starting to drop down into the valley. When you get to this point in the trail where you see the sign, if you turn right, you can go to Hemden Hollow and Sneeds Creek. We're going to take the bench trail to the left and see if we can go find Antenna Pine. So continue with us and we'll go see if we can find it. All right, so we're a couple of hundred yards down the trail. And first thing you run into on the trail is I think this is known as Wild Bix Cabin. So we're gonna go up here and have a look around before we continue down the trail. When you get to this section of the trail, this, there's a fork here in the trail. You want to stay to the left. <laughs> there, there's some markers here, the yellow markers on the trees that makes it easier. But stay to the left <laughs> and head up the bench trail here, and this will take you up to Antenna Pine. Now, if you follow the bench trail across the creek for a little bit, you'll come to a left-hand turn. There's an orange marker up here that you can see. And this trail appears to take us up to where the antenna pine is. My GPS says from where we were right back there, it's like two-tenths of a mile. So we're almost there. Now, this is by far the toughest part of the trail so far. Otherwise, it's been pretty much flat once we came down from the parking area. Now there's a little climbing involved. Now there was a spot back there that you could, over to our right, scramble up it looked like, but it was pretty steep and slick, so we're going to follow the ribbons and go around, see if it's in a way that might keep us from having emergency crews have to come helicopter us out of back here. Ain't nothing like getting lost in those arcs, huh? <laughs> well, this is quite the climb. Luckily, there are ribbons up here. Ow. Looks like we're just kind of doing a switch back up to the top here. Wow. 
That is huge. And we were just talking about this. It seems that to our left, I'm gonna look on the map to double check it, but we think this is the headwaters to Cecil Creek right in here. Look at this bluff. Absolutely amazing. All right, we found a spot behind us. It looks like you could scramble up. We were gonna look this way and see, but good lord. Large crevasse over there in the rocks. Got this huge rock behind me. So it looks like we're gonna have to go back to that spot that we were and try to scramble up. Probably gonna come out of our backpacks and just try to scramble up the side of the rocks there.